Hi, welcome to our brand new Microsoft Azure Fundamental AZ900 Practice Questions 2022. In this video, we are going to discuss all the dummy questions of Microsoft Azure 900 exam. I am your host, Kushal Mehta. And let's get started. Next question. You are considering migrating from your on-premises environment to Azure. You need to estimate the cost savings over time when running your solution on Azure. Which is the best solution for that? And the options are Option 1. Price Calculation Tool Option 2. TCO Calculation Tool Option 3. Azure Advisor Option 4. Azure Reservations And the correct answer is Option 2. TCO Calculation Tool Explanation Option 2 is the correct answer. You can use the TCO calculator to estimate the cost of running your solution in Azure instead of in your on-premises data center over time. Option 1 is incorrect. Pricing tools can estimate the cost of running a basic web application in Azure. This is a tool used for detailed quotations when using individual services, not for a cloud migration. Option 3 is incorrect. Azure Advisor provides recommendations on how to reduce the cost of running Azure virtual machines. Option 4 is incorrect. With Azure reservations, you get discounted rates for certain Azure services. Save up to 70% on pay-as-you-go rates with Azure bookings. Next question. True or false? When you stop on Azure virtual machine, you will continue to pay for the storage costs associated with the virtual machine. And the options are Option 1 True Option 2 False And the correct answer is Option 1 True Explanation The correct answer is true. If you shut down from outside of Azure portal, that is from the OS or the VM itself, the virtual machine according to the specified procedure, it will be stopped in this state, the virtual machine incurs charges for CPU and memory allocation, but not for the license. When the VM is shut down from the Azure portal, it goes into a stopped state and the VM will not incur charges for VM compute resources. However, you still have to pay for the OS and data storage disks connected to the VM. Therefore, the correct answer is true. Next question. Even if Azure resources are available in all regions, not all regions are available to users. And the options are Option 1. True. Option 2. False. And the correct answer is Option 1. True. Explanation. The correct answer is true. Even if Azure resources are available in all regions, not all regions are available to users. For example, there is an availability zone that is specifically assigned to the US government and has restricted general usage. Next question. Please select the correct option to fill in the following blank. Azure services are available to all Azure users during dash. And the options are Option 1. Public preview Option 2. Private preview Option 3. Development Option 4. Enterprise Agreement Subscription And the correct answer is Option 1. Public Preview Explanation Option 1 is the correct answer. The Public Preview service is available to all users. Option 2 is incorrect. The Private Preview is only available to some users. Option 3 is incorrect. Not all users have access to Azure services during development. Option 4 is incorrect. Enterprise agreement subscriptions are only available to some users. Next question. You are preparing a server for application development using Azure. To do this, you need to create an Azure virtual machine using your Android laptop. Solution. Use the Power Apps portal. Will this solution achieve the goal? And the options are Option 1. Yes. Option 2. No. And the correct answer is Option 2. No. No is the correct answer. 
you can only create new VMs from the Azure portal, not from the Power Apps portal. You would use the Power Apps portal to create external websites that allow users outside your organization to sign in with different identities, create and view data in Microsoft Dataverse, and browse content anonymously. This is not the service to use when creating a virtual machine. Next question. Your company is planning to move from an on-premises environment to Azure, but you are only able to use the PWAS solutions. Solution. Use Azure App Service and have Microsoft SQL Server installed. Does this solution meet the requirements? And the options are Option 1. Yes. Option 2. No. And the correct answer is Option 2. No. Explanation. No is the correct answer. It is possible to build applications using Azure App Services, but Microsoft SQL Server needs to work with Azure resources in IAAS. Azure App Service is a fully managed platform and platform service for building, deploying, and scaling web apps. Azure App Service allows you to quickly build, deploy, and scale web apps and APIs. You can use .NET, .NET Core, NOD.js, Java, Python, PHP running inside a container or on Windows or Linux. Next question. Your company requires that when an Azure Active Directory user connects to Azure AD from the internet using an anonymous IP address, the user must automatically request a password change. Which Azure service do you need to use to do this? And the options are Option 1. Azure AD Connect Health Option 2. Azure AD Privileged ID Management Option 3. Azure Advanced Threat Protection And Option 4. Azure AD Identity Protection And the correct answer is Option 4. Azure AD Identity Protection Explanation Option 4 is the correct answer. Azure AD Identity Protection requires users who sign from the internet with an anonymous IP address to change their password and self-heal. Identity Protection is a tool that allows organization to perform three main tasks. Automate identity-based risk detection and action. Investigate risk using portal data. Export risk detection data to third-party utilities for further analysis. Option 1 is incorrect. Azure AD Connect Health is incorrect because it is used to monitor identity governance or identity infrastructure for on-premises resources or servers. You can use the Azure AD Connect Health portal to view alerts, performance monitoring, usage analysis and other information. Option 2 is incorrect. Privileged Identity Management in Azure AD is incorrect. This is used to provide just-in-time access, prevent malicious activity, and provide a fully integrated review of privileged roles in real-time. It also helps you manage privileged administrator roles across Azure Resources and Azure AD. Option 3 is incorrect. Azure Advanced Threat Protection, as the name implies, is used to detect threats from an on-premises resources. It is incorrect because the question is not regarding internal sources. Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Buy our premium AZ bundle with 90% off. Check link in the description.